So let's try this again. Do we have audio now? One, two, three, four. Um, it's Mike. It's um, oh, I don't know, the first, uh, second week of November. And I thought I would uh, expand on um, you know what works with Flux Radio and all the cool applications. So uh, a minute ago, I had no audio, so we're going to try that again. I think I got it resolved. It worked in my test program uh, here in uh, the tool use. There we go. Thanks, Lee. And thanks for letting me know. So on Facebook a few minutes ago, I posted what's your favorite program, uh, Flex program that works in addition to the standard uh, stuff we use. But one of the powerful features of Flex radios, and, and those of you that have been a Flex user for some time, you certainly know this, but Smart SDR Cat is by far one of the most powerful tools in any station integration. It allows us to use multiple programs at the same time. And that's not just sort of, you know, geeky, you know, geeky cool or need to have. It's now a must have because, you know, you want your logbook running, you want WSJTX running, you maybe you're using FL Digi, which doesn't have logging. So you need your logbook or whatever. And this is what smart SDR cat does for you. It allows us to see multiple things at the same time. Um, and this radio can share its frequency, its mode, uh, in its audio with smart SDR DAX. And you know what? It doesn't even have to be on the same computer anymore. So if you have a, a laptop that maybe you're doing your logging on, you're running smart SDR on another computer, your flex control knobs plugged into there, it all beautifully integrates. And, um, you know, the geek of me loved it years ago. Of course, I'm always way ahead of everybody and say, you got to do this, you got to try it. But you know, now it's mainstream. Now we just want it to do that where, uh, you know, look at how many stations we see from people that have got multiple monitors, huge 4K monitors, 8K monitors, wrap around, uh, and their situational awareness when being on HF is absolutely phenomenal. Personally, I'm still a, I'm still a Maestro fan and, and uh, I use a Maestro a lot. So I've got mine sitting here. I actually have it on an arm. Um, I don't know if it'll come over far enough. Uh, in a contest mode, I'd take it off the arm because I want the Maestro right here. But for rag chewing or working some DX, it, it clears my desk space. Um, you know, I'll sort of poke around, and you know, you can see it sitting there on my arm. So uh, it's pretty handy. A twenty-dollar monitor arm bolted on. I can raise it up, put it down wherever I want. But I, I do want to. I do want to talk about the things that work with Flex. And um, one of my um, more popular items, uh, I think that everybody first jumps on there's probably two uh, and the first one is fr stack now fr stack has the uh, ability to add a whole lot of features and displays and button changing and um, one of the cool things fr stack is is it communicates with something called a stream deck and of course i should have pulled the cable out for this earlier um and uh I don't have it running, but FR Stack <laughs> should have done this ahead of time. FR Stack has this, um, it'll talk to this little control thing called a Stream Deck, which comes in multiple buttons and um, it allows you to change antennas and maybe some of the buttons that are important to you are now available. So um, the uh, Stream Deck software, if you just give me a minute, I'll start. I had rebooted my computer, so I guess the Stream Deck uh, was not running. And um, let's see now if we can get to. Nope, not loaded. So, but that's it. And uh, people have, you can get stream decks and s little buttons and lots of buttons. And there's a lot of options and a way you can customize it to work with your Flex Radio using um, REST, R-E-S-T, which I don't know anything about. But on our Flex community, there's a whole group of people that have talked about and done things with buttons on FR Stack. Let me, um, let me switch applications here and uh, because I want to show you what the window looks like. So I actually have to remove this and then share, uh, stop sharing that and now share an application. We're going to share FR stack and here we go. So there's FR stack currently uh, connected to um, my 6600. By the way, my 6600 is remote too. So FR stack is smart link aware. Uh, you just log in and away you go. Um, we can, and I've talked about this before, but we can um, do some sort of hot switching. We can adjust stuff here. CW side tone monitor. Um, that's um, still doesn't solve our, repo, our remote issue with remote monitoring of computer sent CW. Um, we can um, change slice focuses. There's actually a um, scanning feature 
Uh, there's a S meter squelch. Uh, for those of you who want squelch, heck, you can reboot the radio if you have to. Uh, you can scan. Uh, in my case, it also talks to the uh, PGXL amplifier. Uh, there's some other options. We go into options here, where yeah, you can see that. Where if I if I make my PGXL active, it automatically drops the power to 60 watts. Watts. Um, it works with SBC SBE amplifiers. Uh, you can control um, the, the power or the TX and the RCA band control on the back, and uh, just just a lot of different things. Um, full duplex things, uh, disable. Um, when you go into tune, if you want the amplifier off, that's probably when you'd use this. I could say, hey, disable TX1 when tuning. Um, spots and a whole bunch of cool stuff. So, so that's FR stack, uh, and we've just you know. He's done so much with it, um, and he can. And Mark continues to do so many different things with uh, with FR stack. He can slink, uh, slink. He can sync the slices A and B. Say if you were tuning and you wanted both slices to match, um, you could um, you can blow somebody off if you've got a smart link user you want to get rid of. That's what the disconnect the GUI client is about. And if you were using smart link with somebody else in a different area. Uh, if they were online, um, their VFO would pop up here. Uh, we do that in uh, contesting uh, type of thing. So that's uh, the high level on FR stack. So we'll remove him and uh, we will stop sharing and we're going to share my tab again. There we go. And um, another uh, cool thing is, of course, Slice Master. Um, and Slice Master, of course, is that tool that makes it easy to interface with CW Skimmer, Gritty, all these guys right here. Uh, and uh, Don's done a great job with that. It'll send packet spots to Smart SDR or to the Maestro. Uh, there's, again, another audio mixer panel. And uh, you can um, read all about Slice Master here. I think it's the must have if you're trying to set up WSJT and you're confused with. Uh, how to handle your audio, you're confused with cat ports and stuff, this will actually do it for you. And um, if you want to download it, by the way, you're going to come from this page and then you're going to go here and you actually have to copy and paste that into a, another tab that will take you to the current version of Slice Master. And he calls them all betas because it's never done. And then we have uh, Ray, K9DUR, has a whole whack of cool utilities. So we often get asked about, um, there's a Morse keyer. I've never used it. Uh, others use it. I believe it has a beacon feature as well. Uh, SDR um, Auto Center, uh, this program, as it says, keeps the uh, display centered. So if you're dialing around, it'll stay in the center of the pan adapter. The uh, SWR uh, memories, uh, enhanced memory management, um, monitor, you can do some health monitoring of the meters. You can also do that in FR stack. SWR plotter, I use this one all the time. My 160 meter antenna will change its center as the weather gets colder and the ground freezes. So I use it to plot how it's sliding up and down. And as we going into winter, as we, as we are going into winter, I can see its resonance points slowly changing on my remote. So I'll have to make the hour and a half drive up there and I've got a two foot piece of wire that I need to reinsert into the wire vertical uh, and uh, bring it back to where I need it. And it's also a voice gear. So you can use this for contesting and numerous things as well. So, uh, and uh, Ray's a great guy. He uh, has done a lot of these little things. He started programming this as a hobby. So if you use any of his stuff, feel uh, free to support him. And then Whiskey, 7, uh, Whiskey Sierra 7 Mike has uh, FR Logger, which is a logging program that is 100% flex aware. And uh, it talks to clusters. Uh, I haven't used it lately. I haven't moved my logbook over to it. Uh, so I'm not a power user on it, but he's done some really cool metering things and such. And um, so, and he's got a, I was going to click on this page to look it up, but. Uh, it integrates, talks to your flex. I don't know if it's SmartLink aware. It can control KPA 500 uh, amplifier. 
um, and a whole bunch of things. So I'm going to have to have a, he's expanded on it since the last time I look at it, looked at it so that if you're looking for a logging program, certainly, um, FR logger is one of them. So that's just a quick overview of some of the key programs or, or sorry, some of the more popular programs that people have written for that work with your flux radio. And again, the power of smart SDR for cat allows you to, to build your station out. And at some point in time, we're going to get Lou uh, on who uh, runs our every man station at all the ham fests we go to. And he, he's got a whole bunch of cool little tools and integrations that uh, are, are cool. And I want him to demonstrate that. So hopefully sooner than later, we'll get him on the air. So uh, short broadcast. Thanks for taking the time to listen. And uh, we will uh, talk to you later. Take care. 73, good DX.